In this video, I'm going to attempt to explain and demonstrate the relationship between electricity and magnetism. There is a relationship there, and there are basically two principles that you need to understand. The principles are called electromagnetism and induction. Electromagnetism is the principle that when electricity flows through a wire, so we'll connect these wires to the battery and connect them to the light bulb. When electricity flows through a wire, a magnetic field is created around that wire. So you would think I could grab my paper clip and bring it over here and it would stick to the wire, but it doesn't. But that doesn't mean that there isn't electromagnetism. It just means that the magnetic field isn't very strong around a single wire with a small amount of current flowing through it like this. So for electromagnetism, what we end up doing is creating a coil where we wind a wire around an iron core several times. And by doing that, we concentrate the magnetic field and it's strong enough that this would happen. And I'll show you in just a minute how that works. The second principle is the principle of induction. And that says that when a magnetic field passes over a wire, it will induce or create electricity and electrical current in the wire. So according to that theory, we think we can, we can probably eliminate the battery. Just bring the wires over here like this. Let's grab our, our permanent magnet and come over here and move this across the wire and we would hope to see the light bulb light. Again, it's obvious that it doesn't work, but that doesn't mean that we're not creating electricity. In order to use this principle to create enough electricity to light that light bulb, we would need to create a coil. So we would wrap the wire around an iron core several times so that as we move the magnet past it, it induces a larger amount of electricity that can then be used to light a light bulb or power some other device. Now I should mention when it comes to induction that the magnet or the wire needs to be moving. We can't just set a magnet on the wire and expect that magnetism to create any kind of a current. It's actually the magnet passing over the wire which causes the electrons to dislodge and to be pushed in the circuit. So when I do this, when I move this magnet back and forth, there's literally a push and a pull of electrons moving in this circuit. It's just that it's so small in this case, it doesn't light the light bulb. That's the principle of induction. So basically, to summarize, when electricity passes through a wire, there's a magnetic field that is generated around that wire. So electricity makes magnetism. On the flip side, when a magnet passes over a wire, electricity is created in the wire. So magnetism creates electricity. It goes both ways. Okay, over here I've got a, a couple of rolls of magnet wire, and it's just really wire. At first glance, you might think there's no insulation on this, but it does, this red coating is the insulation. You'll be able to see where I've stripped off that coating, and you can see the copper center. It's a solid core wire. It's just got a copper center with, a, with an insulating coating over top of it. Now what you could do with this is take a nail or a, a screw or a bolt or something and take some of this magnet wire and just wrap it around many times. And as you do that, we've created a coil. Now when we apply voltage to both ends of this wire, so if I was to cut this off and then connect each end of this wire to a battery, we will have concentrated the magnetic field enough that the, whenever there's current flowing through this wire, it'll become an electromagnet. Now, just to show you an example of this, I've got this little device here, a little homemade device. All this is, if you look at it, it's just a bolt. And it's just connected to this, this bracket that holds it up. So it's a bolt, and it's got a piece of magnet wire that's been wrapped around it. And it looks like maybe 50 or 60 or 100 times. And here are the two ends, and they connect to this battery. Just got a little switch here. So when you connect this, when I push this button, You'll watch this nut that's hanging from this wire. It's pulled over immediately, and when I let go, it, it releases it. So that's the principle of electromagnetism. We use that in relays. We use that in a lot of devices, electric motors, solenoids. Here's a great example of how electromagnetism can work. This is just a simple battery.
and this battery connects to these two terminals. So when I place it in here, these two copper terminals are touching the battery. Then we have a permanent magnet. So this is the type of magnet you'd find on your refrigerator. It's a permanent magnet that drops down into that hole. And right here, we've just taken a piece of this magnet wire, wrapped it around a cylinder just to make a loop, and I've got both of the ends right here. So if you look at it, it's just been wrapped around. Now when we set that in here, I scraped some of that coating off of the copper wire so that it can touch these contacts. You'll see that immediately you can tell something's going on. It's creating a magnetic field around this loop right here that's either repelling or attracting the magnetic field of this permanent magnet. So if we get it just right, we might get it to work. It'll spin like a motor. But it's it's a great example of how we use electromagnetism. Now I'm going to show you how induction works. So I'll bring over one of these spools of magnet wire again. And because I'm going to induce a very small current, small voltage, I'm going to be using the lab scope so that we can see this. I've got my leads to my lab scope. The lab scope is set on voltage, and I'm just going to connect this onto the ends of these wires where the coating has been stripped off. So this is one single wire. This is just both ends of the wire. And so I'm going to grab our permanent magnet that we just saw a minute ago. I'm going to come over here and remember that I can't just place the magnet near the wire and hope for something to happen. I've got to move it. I'm going to come over here and move this back and forth across this wire. And as I do this, it's generating electricity. You can watch as the electricity is generated. You'll see the voltage going up and down. The faster I go, the faster it goes up and down. The closer I get the magnet to the wire as I do that, the, the stronger the signal is. And so you can see that I'm actually generating electricity. I'm causing the electrons to move back and forth. Those are the principles of electromagnetism and induction.